Well, uh, put a one in chat if you have heard of Blair White. Let's see. If you're on Twitch chat, YouTube chat, just uh, say something in chat if you have heard of Blair White. I am pretty sure. But of course, they only use it because... Put a one. There we go. Oh, hi, Dark Knuck. What's up? Um, well, Blair White recently made another video, which... Uh, she's been, she's been going around a while. We, we all, uh, yeah, like, uh, most of us know who Blair White is. Uh, she made a video doing what is popular at the current moment, which is making fun of TikTokers. Um, I've watched Ben Shapiro make fun of TikTokers. Self-loathing, sad, yes. I've watched, um, who else? I know, uh, Steven Crowder, was it? No, it was... Michael Knowles, uh, because woke TikToks, I guess. And, well, now it is Blair White's turn. And we are going to indulge ourselves in this garbage. Uh, the, the, the Starbucks coffee going on right now. Oh boy. So let's get, uh, uh Buck Angel and Blair. Okay. How much of this video do you think is just going to be ad hominem attacks? Based off of, like, appearance rather than, uh, attacking the argument. Blair looks like she's holding the TikToker. <laughs> you see the- you ever see those, uh, those TikToks that are, like, people duetting somebody who has a hand on their throat or whatever? Somebody's, like, holding the camera like that and talking to it. And then, like, a person duets it like, uh, That's- that's kind of what it looks like is going on here. And your kids' genitals are at risk. Most hated gentlemen move over, Blair White. Sit down and get schooled. I haven't even watched oh my the God. Of at all. And there you have it. Oh my God! Compilation of crazy lib woke TikTokers. You think you watched one of those? Yeah, they're funny as fuck. I love it. Oh, my favorite is like the guy who's like bald and he just like shrugs and smiles and stuff. And this one person like uh, duets him. And he's like, Mitch, what have you done with my family? Where are they, you sick son of a bitch? <laughs> or something like that. I love those. What the fuck's up? Welcome back to what the channel. fuck? So today I thought it'd be fun to go up on a little app called TikTok and search up my name and respond to videos about me. Because, fun fact, I am banned from TikTok, if you didn't know. And Good. I can't respond to any TikToks on the app, so I'm going to do it here. And also, we all know TikTok is like the wokest of all the apps. The it? wokest? I would say that would be Tumblr. That would probably be Tumblr, actually. I wouldn't say it's TikTok. Sorry, I, I see, I come across on TikTok lots of fucking, like, conservative videos or people using that one Transformers sound to be transphobic and homophobic for some reason. Like the, I am Optimus Prime, and I'm sending this message to all remaining Autobots of the universe. We are here. We are waiting. That thing? People, I, I see a lot of, like, straight white cis dudes, like, using that to be like, this is a message to all men who still identify as men in 2022, or something like that. Everything I believe is gonna pretty much be at odds with the prevailing narrative and theme of TikTok. And frankly, from all these woke TikTok videos we've done, we all know that there's just fucking bad, insane people on that app, so... I'll agree. I, I've seen. I saw somebody rubbing a used tampon on a poster of Bakugo from My Hero Academia. Uh, I, I can agree with what she's saying, but probably for a very different reason. She probably says that because there's a lot of gay and trans people on there. I say it because I watched people rub raw meat on posters of anime characters and saying that they're hexing them. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> What's up, Emily? I don't know if you saw this Blair White nonsense where she's like, I'm, a I'm old enough to remember when the first names of teachers was a mystery. Now they're telling kids what they're sexual, or they're, uh, what they're into sexually and what gender they want to be. Question. Anybody who goes to school, do you know your teacher's first names? Because uh, I sure as fuck do. Oh, yeah, it is weird. 
I sure as fuck do. I knew Mr. C's name. I knew uh fuck all my fucking teachers' names. Mr. C was a real one. I miss you, Mr. C. But um, that's a uh, that and all uh, as the year goes round, about you are bound to learn things about your teacher. So what's wrong with teachers talking about their personal lives? You're you you're 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 stuck with this person for at least an hour a day. Five days a week. They definitely told us. Yeah, they did. Five days a week. For about a good fucking year. You are bound to learn these things about your teachers. Old enough to remember when first names of and even if so, what what what's what's the issue? What what's the what's the fucking issue? Well, teachers was a mystery, and now they want to share their sexuality and what their gender is. Which is a legitimate problem. There are lots Why is it a problem, Blair? Uh, the only way you could argue that this is a problem is if you view these topics as inappropriate for children. But then you would have to, like, answer me. Why is it inappropriate for children? TikTok videos literally every single day, hundreds at this point, of teachers coming out to their students, telling kids about sexual orientations that are just vague and obscure and not age-appropriate. What do you mean, it not age-appropriate? Blair, you can't just make vague statements. What what is not age appropriate about any of this? That's my question. Uh, this is a very known problem that's happening. Um, and how is it a problem? And I don't fuck feel bad about. Calling. It's a problem if you're a conservative because you definitely want the the truth about the world. Of course, she picks the least passing trans woman. Yeah, I'm not gonna comment on that. She looks fine to me. Women come in all shapes and sizes. But, um... The only issue, way this is a problem... Gay equals vague and obscure. I know, right? <laughs> but, um... The only problem that could be held here is if you're a conservative. And you don't want your children knowing that gay people exist. If you just want to lie to your children, pretty much. And I don't get why Blair roots for these people. These are the people that actively would have Blair get put back in the fucking closet. The people that she panders to. I, I get that it's for money. I get that it's for money. But at some point, it, it's not always about the money, Spider-Man. And I'm like, oh, sweetie, sit down and get schooled. You were born in 1998. I was born. I was born in 93, Miss Thing. How old is Blair? Oh, she's... Yeah. Uh, oh, Blair was born in 1993. How... Ni fuck. Wait, I have a button on my keyboard specifically to bring up the calculator. 1993 minus 2002 to... Let's see. She's 29? She's 30? Okay, uh, say all you want about Blair, but she does not look 30. Damn. You know, I felt like if, if Blair wasn't such a fucking, like, a uh, trans -medi fucking, like, you know, bigot piece of shit, she would be, like, she'd be trans, she would be transition goals for a lot of young trans femmes. I just noticed they pick a stereotype the right wants them to appear unstable. Yep. But, like, I don't know. I feel like if, if Blair wasn't such, you know, such a cr fucking crazy bitch, she would probably be, like, transition goals for a lot of young, like, trans femmes. Because, like, I, I could not tell that she was there. She looks 25. She looks 25 or younger. She did not look 30. Miss Thing. In 1985. I was starting high school before you were. The fuck does Miss Thing mean? Congratulations. We all know the older you are, the smarter you are, right? Totally. That's like a thing. No, because uh, what I'm assuming she, her pronouns. She might have been queen. She might have been. The potential in another multiverse, in another timeline, in another alternate earth in the multiverse. Literally 1985. <laughs> 
in another uh, part of the multiverse, if we have Blair White being a trans icon, that wouldn't be such a bad future. That wouldn't be such a bad world to live in. <laughs> Society of conservatism didn't exist. Um, so let me tell you. Uh, I definitely remember the first names of several teachers. Ow. Oh, you got me. Literally, she is arguing against your point. Don't do the stank face and be like, ah, oh. Before me, because you remember a first name of one of your teachers. She said first names of many of her teachers, but um, which does, which is a pretty good counter argument to the tweet that Blair made. But whatever. Uh, we totally knew them. It happens. <laughs> uh, we also knew their sexuality. They were only too happy to share their marriage status. Yeah, no money and being a decent person. Damn it. You see, that's why I'm not at a million subs yet. You see, that's not that's why I'm not at a million subs yet is because I'm not a shitty person. <laughs> Damn it. But uh yeah, no. Teachers will talk about how they get married. That is disclosure of their sexualities. If they'd say, I have a husband, I have a wife, that is disclosure of their sexuality. This has been a thing. Ever since I was in fucking pre- Like, uh, sorry. Ever since I was in, like, first grade, my first grade teacher had to take a leave so that she could get married. And when she came back, she talked about her wedding. And her husband. That is disclosure of sexuality. You don't have an issue of it when it comes to, like, straight couples. No, no, no. I got your back, lol. <laughs> Thanks, Knuck. But, um... You don't have an issue with disclosure of sexuality when it comes to straight couples or straight teachers, but only with the gay teachers for some reason. And sometimes. Because marriage status is totally the same thing as telling someone your sexuality. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. If so, if a guy comes up to me and says, I have a wife, or if I'm talking to somebody and they mention their girlfriend, their wife, their spouse, a female spouse, we would like assume... This person is straight. This man is straight. If my male teacher, if my teacher who's a man, talks to me about how he got married to his husband, we're gonna know this guy's gay as fuck. <laughs> it's literally, it is a disclosure of sexuality, Blair. It is. Right. Friends discuss their marriages maybe a little too much. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have. In fact, they definitely shouldn't have. Why not? I never have had any issue with if a male teacher is married to a man or vice versa, you know, them bringing their partner around to school events or whatever. Like that is actively what you are detesting, Blair. That is actively what you and the people that you are you associate with contest. Do do not pretend otherwise. That's gonna be a thing that happens, right? Obviously, I'm not anti-gay marriage and I'm not homophobic. However, Yet you pander to the people who are. There's a difference between that, right? And teaching kids about sexuality, gender identity, teaching them that if they like boy things, they have to be a boy. That is not what is being taught. Please stop straw manning Blair White. That is very fucking annoying, Blair White. First they don't. Now it's they shouldn't. Yeah, they, they fucking, it's not a solid argument. It is something that she constantly has to backpedal on because she is constantly being proven wrong. Schools must teach social and societal skills too. Yes. I, fucking teach people how to behave. Also, she is straw manning, she's actively straw manning what is being taught in these schools. Hell, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in that demographic. I'm in the demographic she speaks of. I'm still in school. Not once, not once have I ever had anybody discuss fucking uh, fuck sexuality or gender identity with me in school, besides other students. I have never had teachers discuss that. So I don't get where this idea comes from. Things that have to be a girl. There's a big difference between those things. And if you that is not what they are teaching, Blair. And if you can find me some examples, I would fucking love that. If you can find me some, uh, some examples of that being taught, I would fucking love it, Blair. 
supervisor. Oops. Right, I was a su supervisor at a public school for 15 years. Yeah. Sure. You can't see that. Um, you're either intentionally not trying to see it or you're muddying the waters on purpose, which I'm betting is more like- I'm most likely assuming that, uh, I'm going to assume that most likely what she is speaking about is a teacher saying, if you are transgender or gay, that is fine. That's what I'm assuming. Uh, I certainly met living proof that my teachers have had sex because their kids often went to the same school or if they were adults, they dropped by sometimes to drop off something in the middle of class, perhaps. Or alternatively, they told us about their children. Yeah, that's totally the same thing as teaching kids about sexuality. Right. And again, what is wrong with teaching kids about sexuality? That's my question. Because if you teach kids what these things mean, gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, if you teach kids what these things mean, Stigmas behind them are tend no would tend to you know dissipate. Does she not remember what kids talk about in the yard? It's not about it's not just about math, eh? True. But um oh god, I turned into a miniature Vosh there for a second. Jesus Christ. But um you would have to explain to me why it's wrong. And if she's going to make the argument that uh children can't know at that time what their gender identity was, Blair. You have actively spoken about how you knew you were transgender, about how you knew you were a woman when you were five years old. She will go, she will go against her own logic. She will go, go against the experiences that she's disclosed that she's had just because she wants to pander to the conservative audience and because she wants the fucking money. You got me, Emily. Knife through the motherfucking heart. Blair White is another one of those ultra privileged trans people that I will never understand. How am I privileged? No, really. Like I, I, this is what I get launched a lot at me. How? So let's see. I grew up with an entire family on drugs. I grew up in pretty much poverty. I wasn't dirt poor, but I didn't have any extra money. She's a hypocrite. Uh, my dad died when I was a kid. I've been. I was the same year my dad died as a kid. I support myself entirely. I funded my own transition entirely through my own work. Didn't have a handout from a single person in my entire life. I think that if you're going to make arguments against Blair White, I think they should be valid ones. Like me calling her a hypocrite and otherwise. I think that calling her uh, privileged is, uh, you could make an argument for it, but you would have to fucking struggle to defend that argument. And I personally don't see how she is. She is still a member of a minority group. She is still a member of the transgender community. She is, like it or not, she most likely has gone through many struggles in her life. Which is why it is fucking frustrating to see her like this. And I'm still working to this day to support just me and the people that I love. So, um, where's the privilege? I guess what they mean is that, like, I'm not ugly. I don't look like a beast. Well, that, that's also through hard work. So, I don't understand what the issue is because she hasn't struggled like most of us trans people have struggled and so she just doesn't fully understand or get how are you so comfortable making that statement you don't know me <laughs> like imagine making the statement that someone hasn't struggled and you don't even know the person i've been pretty open about all my struggles on my channel i've talked about you know how my gender dysphoria was so bad before i transitioned i couldn't even leave the house i've talked about depression I've talked about but america that body don't uh but america that body don't come cheap most trans can't afford meds or being denied oh so uh she would be pri uh, privileged in the fact that she was able to transition she was able to fund her own transition but she worked for that herself right or am i just stupid and don't know the entire story family issues i've talked about girl got it um she has a lot of really problematic views and why she does I, I agree she does have a lot of extremely problematic views worse than caitlin jenner is because she spreads misinformation like literally fake news okay so we're gonna do a little test here we're gonna see if this person whose name is rosalyn gives a single example i can give you an example right now earlier in this video you actively lied about the education. You actively lied about uh, fucking LGBT education in school. 
you you did that. You did that one, Blair. Of me spreading fake news, uh, my problematic opinions. What I'm guessing is she's going to skate right past it. But she also, you know, just has like really strong opinions that are very transphobic, that are very problematic, that are very racist, that are very ableist. And that problematic very is, and that's an understatement and a half. Do you, um, while I appreciate this TikToker making a claim, or oh, making these, these points, making this video, I think people should stop making claims and points that they do not have examples to back about other people. Because like... Of course, we all know Donald Trump is fucking racist. How do we fucking know? You can't just say Donald Trump is racist because, well, yeah, we all know it, but you gotta fucking prove it, too. Donald Trump is a racist. He based his entire 2016 presidential campaign off of anti-Hispanic or anti-Mexican racism. Literally. Off of xenophobia towards Mexicans. That is, that is an example. So, if you're going to make a claim about Blair White and call her transphobic, you have to provide examples. Like how she would Photoshop beards onto the transgender woman she would discuss in her thumbnails. That is transphobic. I don't think there's an example. I can't get behind her. I don't recommend looking her up. I'm, you know, I haven't even watched a full video of hers at all. I just- Roll the tape. <laughs> and there you have it. How do you sit up on TikTok talking about anyone spreading false information? Saying things about me without ever watching a video. How are you so confident that none of the information you're spreading, Miss Thing, is not fake news, problematic, misinformed, a lie, when you've never watched a video? How does that make any sense in your head? To just, you know, know enough about her to know that I, you know, think that she's the worst representation of what a trans person can be. Thank God you're here to be the good representation of trans people, talking about shit you have no idea about, talking about a- Blair White, does she watch her own content? Yeah, most likely. Actually, I don't even watch my own content, so probably not. <laughs> I will be real with you guys. I don't watch these videos. The only time I watch them is when I'm fucking editing them. <laughs> but Blair, oh fuck, what was the point I was gonna make? Thank God you're here to be the good representation of trans people. And you are good representation of trans people? Blair, you cater to the right wing with your fucking content. You pick up the buzzwords as they come. You pick up the fucking, the, the, the fucking, like, talking points as they come. Woke. The fuck does woke even mean? At this point, it just became another fucking buzzword. Talking about shit you have no idea about. Talking about a person you have no clue about. Thank God. Hey, it's Tooth! Yo, it's Tooth! Hi, Tooth! You probably don't remember me, but I, I met you- I met you a while ago. In a- uh, in a Twitter space. We- we- we were mutuals. But yeah. Really mad at me. They practically disown me every day. Sure. Also, here's this random non-binary person on TikTok. Allow me to gatekeep the trans community from them and tell them how they aren't actually trans because I'm a spokesperson of the trans community, clearly. Yeah, I mean, Blair White does do that. She actively does gatekeep. She actively does just find the random person, uh, find the random NB, make fun of the random NB. That is a lot of her content, actually. Let me just... New tab. I'm not against gay people. Ezra Miller, making fun of, uh, pulling up the random NB and talking about how we have a, as uh, ContraPoints would put it, a bad transgender Detransition. Uh, she highlights stories about detransitioners, even though detransitioners make up far, like, less than fucking what? Less than 1% of the trans community. And the trans community is also less than 1% of the population. So she highlights an extremely, extremely small part of an extremely small minority. Drag for kids is becoming a problem. What is a woman? Reaction to Matt Walsh's crazy trans document. I have to watch. I'm not against gay Pete. <laughs> I gotta watch Matt Walsh's documentary on stream sometime. Because I'm pretty sure it would probably be a gold mine for content. Discussing transgenderism with Alex Jones. Woke TikTok is faking mental disorders for attention. 
she'll just highlight small instances of things that she finds cringy and act like it's an entire representation of the community. She will gatekeep these people and she'll just be a fucking... Uh, how do I say? She'll just be a bitch. True. But really, it's so funny that I've never called myself a spokesperson for the trans community. I'm just a bitch on the internet speaking my own mind. And I just happen to have people... Yeah, a lot of your claims are uh, cherry-picked. <laughs> But, uh, fuck. Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. The only people who call me a spokesperson of the trans community are you guys. You guys. You sure as fuck act like it without all the fucking gatekeeping you do. You guys have literally elected me. You've put me in office. You guys are the only ones saying I'm a spokesperson of the community. And then you get mad that I'm claiming that when I never have. So, um, thanks for keeping me in office for so long. There's a war going on. Oh, You're boy. Finished. We're going to get all the ad hom attacks. No fucking argument. How much you want to bet this is just going to be like, person look weird. I don't have to respond to their argument. Are at risk from sexual reassignment and beta blockers. What the fuck is a beta blocker? And what is this? Hell if I know what a beta blocker is. I don't know. What side of the trans issue you're on. You're going to want to watch these two. Blair White and Buck Angel. Oh boy. The two notorious trans meds. Oh, great. If these are the people who hate me, I'm so... <laughs> Guess who was right? Me. This guy right here was correct. It's just ad homs. It's just ad hominem. Listen to what they have to say before you fucking say anything, Blair. Just don't pause the video and be like, Oh, they're so weird looking. <laughs> if these are the people who hate me, I'm so confident. I, I'm fine with that. I'm so fine with that. Blair White's page. The video is called The Truth About Trans Kids from Trans Adults. They stand with the parents, and as do I, with the whole notion of leaving kids alone. Join well, when it comes to that, you'd have to prove that there are kids getting SRS. There are no kids getting SRS. Both of them on YouTube for a candid and in-depth. Wait. This person's a fan. I'm so sorry. I'm such a bitch. Wow. It's almost like I said. Hold off your ad hominem and listen to the fucking arguments that a person is making. Holy shit, Blair. I can see why people hate me. I'm literally the worst. Sorry. 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 But why are you watching Blair White in the first place? If She's so, so cunty. Yeah. Oh, she's so catty, is what you're saying. Eh. I don't feel like it's my place to say that. I am not, um, I am not, well. I'm gonna ignore what I was about to say. Okay. I don't get Why did she pick this video up? Yeah, sorry. You're good. Uh, why did she react to that video? You know, like, you can cut this out of the video if it's not, like, anything fucking important to the discussion that you're trying to have here, Blair. I don't, I don't get it. Was the second person agreeing with the first one or not? <laughs> I, anyways. I feel like these are, like, aliens from a different planet, no? Oh, this is a 20-minute video. This... Oh... Oh, no, I got, I got to stop being a pause, Andy. Oh, God, we are not going to get through this anytime soon if I am still being a fucking pause, Andy. Jesus Christ, we're already 30 minutes. We've been recording for 30 minutes. This is a 20 minute long video. Jesus. Is this a Blair White diss track? Oh, I, I'm I I'm gonna say this now. Music is hard to do. 
So please, please, and rap is very fucking hard to do. Please, please don't rap if you can't rap. Please, please don't try. <laughs> well, please no. All I really gotta say is, please don't rap if you, uh, to, to this to this lovely woman here. Please don't rap. This shit is. Uh, please unrelease this. At least it rhymes, I, I guess, but there's like no flow. There's like no flow to it. Uh, I I don't listen to a lot of rap, but my dad he fucking loves rap. My little brother loves rap, so I've grown up around rap. Please do not rap if you cannot. There is no flow here. There is nothing. It's just... Uh, it sounds like... Uh, it reminds me of... um. It's giving... Teachers who try to make rap songs for their... Uh, to, to, for educational purposes for their classes. You know? Like... Uh, like... A teacher, like a science teacher, it gives science teacher, or English teacher, trying to make a rap about Hamlet. Right. Ah! What was that? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. I almost beed. But wait, I can't help that person hates me or loves me. She said it was on site. I guess I changed my mind after the pause and I heard the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. I know what that means, where I come from. But uh, to be fair, none of those bars, if you could even call them bars, made any fucking sense. To be fair. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored by No! <laughs> for she's in you feel bad for me crosses my mind mostly i just feel bad for she's in you feel bad for me okay okay incredibly insecure and you can tell she just does this nonsense because she thinks if she gets chummy with people like ben shapiro it will ensure her survival well to be fair that is uh oscar worthy laugh yeah to be fair that it kind of is what she does she caters to a conservative audience, and I'm not going to make any assumptions about her intentions, but I'm just going to say, getting chummy with the people who are who do not like the people uh, the people of your identity isn't going to spare you from their fucking like their fucking bigotry. I love how people love to just say bullshit. <laughs> the group think is really real with these people because they have a few lines they say and they're always the same and they're always bold. Here's one. Blair just loves sucking up to people like Ben Shapiro. They love bringing Ben Shapiro up. Meanwhile, I've debated Ben Shapiro on my channel. I am the only trans person on the internet to get Ben Shapiro to concede a point. That is because you are conservative and Ben Shapiro will have a little bit more lean way, uh, leeway with you. Uh, Danny. Um... She she debated Ben Shapiro too, and she was actually fucking correct in what she said. She got Ben Shapiro to admit that he fucking doesn't use data anymore because he believes that it's fucking biased. So pretty much, got, she got Ben Shapiro to admit that he more uh, he operates off of his feelings less than facts. I made a fucking video about this. You are not the only trans person to debate fucking Ben Shapiro and fucking win. I debated Ben Shapiro, told him how dumb it was to ever call me he in public, and he conceded and he said he would call me she. Go on my channel, watch He said he would call you she, not because that he believed that you're a woman, but just so you shut the fuck up. <laughs> She's a novelty. She's a novelty. She Video is. For your reference. But they never talk about that, right? It's Blair sucking up to Ben Shapiro. Meanwhile, I'm the only trans person that's ever won a debate against him. No, you're not. That's just fucking false. Uh, for more information, check out my- <laughs> But that doesn't mean anything, right? Okay. You are not the, the you are not the only trans woman to win a debate against Ben Shapiro. That would be Danny. But it won't. They'll toss her away the second it's convenient for them, and they'll use her existence to 
justify stripping away the rights of other trans people. Like what? No, really, like what right have I ever advocated to be stripped away from a trans person? You fear monger about transgender people and children. Do you think that that, that fear mongering doesn't lead to changes? Do you think that your effect has nothing to, like, that your words have no fucking effect on the world? Or on the fucking sphere that you live in? Do you think that, like, what you say has no fucking lasting impact? You have a million fucking subscribers. You have a large platform. What you say has impact. Oh, wait. Leave it in the comments. So, yeah, I think she's a bad person, but I mostly just pity her. Because there is nothing she can ever do to her body that will make her love herself. And that is a sad place to be. I think that, like, right. making it hominem attacks is pretty unbased, but I think they're correct it. about the whole they'll cast her aside when it's fucking convenient thing. Blair doesn't love herself. Meanwhile, every single person who knows me in real life knows that my actual main problem is I love myself a little too much. <laughs> and they always love bringing up surgeries and what I do to my body and getting work done. Ironically, that just seems kind of transphobic to me. Like, why are you bringing up my transition all the time? Not just this person. They all do. They say, well, Blair's get this done and Blair's lips and Blair's nose and Blair's boobs. That's all to do with my transition. I don't think that you should bring up her transition as arguments against her, but whatever. How is that even on the table for people who are constantly claiming things about transphobia? They also love saying I'm constantly getting work done, which by the way, I haven't gotten work done in like a week. If you get to heaven and you see her, you're in hell. <laughs> if you get to heaven and you see her, you're in hell. You right. <laughs> I actually fully concede that I'm probably going to hell. <laughs> Just Speaking of hell, this might come off a little weird, but I feel like uh, the other night I had a dream and I felt like I was in hell. It was pretty weird. Satisfied with just not understanding pronouns. Conservatives have moved on to not understanding adjectives. This is your warning. You better hide your favorite verbs and prepositions because they're bound to not understand. Big Joel's comment here pretty much spells it. True, pretty sure if there was no difference between blonde women and women, the word blonde wouldn't be there either. Understand how language works. 100% with you, queen. Adjectives exist to describe different sets of people. Them either. But did you prove anything wrong? You did. Yes, they did. There's absolutely a difference between trans women and women. I don't really give a f Yes, but they're both women. Just like there are tall women. There are short women. There are big women. There are small women. There are big booby women. There are small booby women. There are transgender women. There are cisgender women. They are all women. Like, let's see one example. Uh, the penis. My penis. That's probably um, a big difference. Yeah. Morning. Question of the day. For all the cisgendered people out there who feel as if they know everything under the sun, what do you do when your method in protecting children from- I'm gonna need you to brush your teeth before you get on camera. That's an ad hominem attack. Ar attack the argument, not the person. I'll never understand people who get on camera with yellow teeth as if that's not one of the most fixable things. Like, I'm not, I'm... Attack the argument, not the person. If you are using it homonym, I will assume you have nothing of value to say. Sorry to be mean, but it's the first thing I'm saying. And that's just real. From being affirmed in their gender is actually costing them their lives. And how could your approach be considered saving children when inadvertently the damage that you will be causing by restricting or cutting off trans youth healthcare starts to have a real effect. Fortunately, us as a species never learn until there's a great tragedy. It's the reason why we have seatbelts in our cars. I really. This really reveals how. What does it reveal, Blair? Is so fing opposite of actual reality. So. <laughs> Brushing teeth they doesn't necessarily make them white. Not letting children sterilize themselves. Children aren't sterilizing themselves, Blair White. 
children aren't sterilizing themselves, Blair White. Stop making shit up. Is not letting children hack off their body parts. That's what children are getting surgeries, Blair. And also stop using the fucking inflammatory language that people would actively use against you, Blair. But uh that still. What children are getting bottom surgery? What children are getting top surgery? What children are taking permanent hormones? I'm sorry, until you are of a certain age where you can make that decision for yourself, the only viable options for transgender youth are social transition and blockers. Blockers are reversible, Blair. Stop using this loaded fucking emotional language to stir up fear because that's what you fucking do, you fear monger. Because it makes you the money with the conservatives what they think the great tragedy is and the people are going to learn from that and we're going to look back and think wow we really fucked up not letting timmy cut off his that's not what's going on <laughs> let me explain this in simple term you explained that you've had dysphoria for years suicide to the point you were suicidal imagine that if you were never allowed to transition what do you think you would have done what do you think you would have done blair what do you think that these kids are going to do? They aren't allowed access to their health care. They aren't allowed access to social transition even if the fucking if Florida gets their fucking way. So what do you think these children are going to do? Just just shut up and take it? No, they're going to fucking die. These kids are going to fucking die, Blair. That's the great tragedy. Get 14. We really fucked up not sterilizing Kellyanne at 12. Yeah. Who's sterilizing children? I want to know what, what, what some examples would be pleasant. Some examples would be fucking great, Blair. That's going to be the lesson from all this. Totally. It's not the exact opposite. You nailed it. We hope that the next Actually, but we do have statistics about one thing. Trans affirmation and suicide rates. Suicidal ideation. Affirmation. Hormone therapy, gender affirmation surgery, and their associations with recent suicidal ideation and depression symptoms in transgender veterans. The role of gender affirmation and psychological well-being among transgender women. Youth. Because we're talking about the youth here, right? I can't imagine that she doesn't have the mental capacity for empathy. She fucking doesn't. You know, when you make the money, she does. Human, uh, other people don't fucking matter. Chosen name use is linked to reduce of depressive symptoms, suicidal ideation, and suicidal behavior in transgender youth from ScienceDirect. ScienceDirect.com. This study is aimed to examine the relation between chosen name use as a proximity for use gender uh, affirmation in various contexts and mental health among transgender youth. This is the things that uh, fucking Florida aims to fucking, like, stop to, is fucking social transition shit, too. Growing out your hair, going by a preferred name. That that shit, that shit, is important for the redu for the reduction of suicidal ideation in the, of transgender youth. So nobody's talking. Uh, healthcare includes social transition, and the most medical transition that transgender youth can get is fucking blockers, and blockers are reversible. So stop using the loaded fucking fear-mongering languages, language that you do, Blair. Stop using the buzzwords that are popular with the right. Because you're not proving shit. You're just scaring people. Coming years sees a boom in trans work, especially for the youth community. Let me tell you some personal experience. Trans youth don't need conversion therapy. They don't need to be reformed. They don't need to be put down and invalidated. They need to be affirmed. Actually, they need to go through rigorous checks and die. What do you think that is? Th that is affirmation, Blair. Oh my god, I I'm sorry for the yelling. But Blair, that is trans affirmation. That is trans health care. To make sure what they're feeling is actually gender dysphoria. Oh, she, I forgot she's a trans med who thinks that uh, dysphoria is, like, necessary for being trans. Correct. Oh, yeah. What about the transgender people who transition because of the feelings of gender euphoria they get?
they had no issues living as men, right? But there are some transgender women who feel gender euphoria when expressing themselves as their correct gender. What about those people? Those people aren't trans. They're still trans. And by definition, they are too. Transgender simply is defined by identifying as the gen as a gender opposite of that you were born with. Still me, Blair. Still me, Blair. The fuck are you talking about? That's a very logical approach that actually would help every single person involved. But instead, you're choosing blind affirmation because you're fucking crazy. And baby, I'm going to need you to get used to more trans people speaking out on this because it's going to be an avalanche and I'm sure you're really going to hate that. But that is what's happening. So whatever reality you're living in, sorry. Kids don't need to be sterilized. Nobody. I'm sorry. I don't want to get angry, but nobody is sterilizing children, Blair. I, I do not know what you were talking about. You're just making shit up because it fits your narrative. Please cite sources. They don't. Do you feel like something was off? They don't. Imagine believing a five-year-old can pick their gender, but 18-year-olds can't consent to student loans. Do you feel like something was off? That you um, were supposed to be a girl? Like five. Let's talk about it, because people love thinking that there's some sort of hypocrisy in me saying- It is hypocrisy! You're saying children can- uh, so Children can't know that they're transgender. Children can't know that they, uh, that they don't identify as their sex aside at birth. But I did when I was a kid. That, yes, I felt different at five. And also, yes, children should not be sterilized. As if those two things can't be true at the same- Who- But then again, Blair, who is sterilizing children? Who's sterilizing children, Blair? Time. I did not know I was transgender at five years old. I sensed that things were off at five years old. That yes, and what do you think that education and knowing th those things leads to with that? Like, why do you think that we want kids to know this? So that when there are kids who feel like you did when you were five years old, when there are kids who have those same feelings, we can easily identify what it is and potentially help them for an easier life. That has nothing to do with my ability to consent to medicalization, lifelong medicalization. I know a lot of these people are incapable of holding two thoughts in their head at the same time, but you can actually believe that actual trans people tend to feel it from a very young age, and also, they don't know yet because they're five. Right. Yes, and that's why we have education, so that we can understand the things we don't know yet. Wow. 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 Right. Absolutely, said something was off when I was five. That had nothing to do with my ability to consent to a lifelong medicalization, to consent to everything that entails being transgender. I didn't know I was transgender at five. In fact, I've always said I had no idea what transgender was until I was much older, and I could actually comprehend it and decide, you know what, this actually is the appropriate steps for me because. Then what's wrong with letting kids know what these things are at a younger age, so that if they have those feelings, they don't have to go through, you know, wrong puberty, dysphoria. Wanting to, like, you know, depression, things like that. So that they can understand why they feel different. Things were off. I definitely wasn't questioning if I was trans. I didn't know the term. Because just because just you don't know the term for something doesn't mean you don't know how you feel about it. I can figure that out for myself. Me personally feeling gender dysphoria at five years old has literally nothing to do with a child's ability to consent to changing their sex. Children Nobody! <laughs> I'm not going to scream. Nobody is transitioning, ch giving children surgeries at five years old. That is a lie. That is a lie. That is a fucking narrative. Cannot consent to sex or changing their sex. And if you disagree, something's really Nobody's disagreeing with that, but nobody's getting sex reassignment surgery that young. So I don't think know why you think that's a fucking own. Just saying. I never tell parents. Period. It's a problem that the teacher feels like they have the ability or the right to keep a secret. Oh, have you ever considered something uh, uh, like this, Blair White? Parents can be abusive. Parents can be homophobic. It's best not to let these parents know. Because, like, what happens if the parent finds out through the school, Oh, my child's gay? My child is trans? Conversion therapy time. Beating time. Domestic abuse time. I don't think the teacher wants that on their conscience. That's not the parent's fucking business. Speaking as a parent, no, it's not. 
Okay, well, that's a problem, and you're a bad parent. I have no problem saying that. If you think a teacher, someone who's not related to your child, has more right to information or secrets about your child... Would you like to listen to their argument, or would you just like to skip over it? ...than you do, something's fucking wrong. Something's wrong. Let's watch this one. She just skipped over it without listening to his argument. Damn. 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 All right. Wait, that's a nice one. Thanks, that was cute. Is that it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that one. That was funny. Oh, that's a normal reaction to have. You seem sane. Because you spread misinformation about the transgender community. That's why people don't like you in the trans community, Blair. I'm glad you actually brought her up. She is probably one of the most respected trans people that I can think of. Thank you. She, and I say she out of respect, um, my... Not because she actually thinks you're a woman. Your fans don't actually think you're a woman, Blair. They do not think you're a woman. They just say that she because they respect you. Their their support is conditional. And that's not good. Beliefs about trans are my own. But out of respect for her because she is a good person and she has her head on straight, I call her she. Thank you. Um, But no, Blair White's awesome. Thank you. She makes very valid points. No, she, she does up all the things that people don't want to talk about. Does she cite her sources though? No. What she does is just make shit up. Um, that this idea that just being trans is just this great journey and, you know, she actually talks about the things no one wants to talk about. And I love when trans community calls her transphobic. She's trans. I call her transphobic because she would use to Photoshop beards onto the trans women she would discuss in her videos. I, I don't know. That seems kind of transphobic to me. Right. What she is is not agreeing with their narrative which pisses people off because you're just supposed to blindly believe what you hear and agree. For that reason, Preach. I have a lot of respect for her. Thanks, girl. I thought these were all going to be negative. And all right, well, that's it. Well, that was... Well, that was a journey, I guess. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, smash like on the fucking video, you know, subscribe, comment. Uh, join my Discord server. The link will be in the description for this video. Uh, if you want more videos like this, you can look at my YouTube page and let, uh, have a lovely day. As always, I have been Meme Joy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.